Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. I don't recognize the name of the girl on the phone for an Awkward Tuesday phone call today, but I'm pretty sure her and I must have met. Because she says she works at a lingerie store, and I have been stocking up lately. So <laughs> I'm really? assuming we've done business together. Coco, oh. have you sized me? You know, I don't know if I have oh. or not. Well, you'd remember. You, I, I think. Oh, remember. Are you the lace thong guy or are you more of the boy shorts dude? <laughs> what am I not? Okay. Well. All the above. <laughs> anyway, Coco, what's up? Thank you for uh, emailing us about doing an Awkward Tuesday phone call. Yeah, totally. Thank you guys for helping me. Is the lingerie store part of your Awkward Tuesday phone call? Or is Jubal it just... It is. Oh, it is? Okay. It is. Really? Yeah. All right, so tell us what you want to do today. I mean, other than hook me up with a discount. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jubal. <laughs> so I work in a lingerie store, and this guy came in, and I recognized him. It is a friend of mine's boyfriend, okay. and I have never met him in person. I've seen pictures of him, but he doesn't know who I am. Oh, okay. okay, so he has no idea that you're a friend of his girlfriend. Correct. Okay. Yeah, no idea. And he was looking at all this lingerie, and he ended up picking out pieces and purchasing them. And at first, was like, oh, he's probably going to buy stuff for my friend. Right. But all the stuff that he bought was definitely the wrong size. It was, like, way too big for my friend. Uh-huh. It was a color that my friend would never wear. She's obsessed with red and, like, thinks the purple is so gross and would never be caught dead in purple lace and all this stuff that he bought was purple lace so uh, sounds just... wonderful to me <laughs> and purple is my favorite color and lace is another one of my favorite things so you you well, think he maybe was... he was buying for you <laughs> maybe oh i hope so i don't think i know him though but that would be amazing so you think that he was buying it for somebody other than his girlfriend yeah, I don't really know any other reason why he would be purchasing this. Wait a minute. Like, he could just be an idiot and not know her sizes and not check in with her. And What if it's for, like, a family member? You don't buy lingerie for a family member. That's I guess, gross. I guess you're right. <laughs> Are you sure he's just not a, you know, a typical guy who just goes out and buys something and doesn't do a lot of research beforehand? I feel like he can't be this. Stupid. <laughs> you can't be that wrong on Don't the size. Yeah. 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 And also, I just got really suspicious because of the way he was acting. It was like he didn't want anyone to know that he was there and was mm. like looking over his shoulder. They come in with some sunglasses on or maybe those glasses or the fake nose and mustache. Well, he didn't go that far, but I mean, he might as well because he looked super suspicious. Really? So, did you help him during his shopping experience? Did you talk to him at all? I checked him out in terms of, like, you know, rung him up and everything. But, no, I didn't actually personally help him. He didn't even really ask anybody for help. But because I checked him out, I saw, you know, what he was purchasing. Uh Okay, so you want to call him with your Awkward Tuesday phone call or you want to call your friend? I want to call him. Oh, you do? I want to get him to admit that he's cheating on her. So you're you're automatically going with the cheating card. Yeah, I don't I don't really see any other alternative, honestly. Okay, wait, hold up. Have you like texted your girlfriend and said like, Hey, saw your man. Did you love your lingerie? To be honest, I don't know if he's cheating, so I don't wanna be throwing around accusations and upsetting my friend if I don't need to, but that's why I wanna make the phone call. Yeah. But you I mean like you've never met him. Where'd you get his phone number from? From the system, because we take in the customer's oh, information oh, and when we send oh, wow. them out. He has like a rewards card number. Yeah. There. So, so you were able to get his phone number from the transaction, though. Yes. All right. And so when you call him for the Aqua Tuesday phone call, are you going to say you're her friend? Or are you just going to be like, hey, uh, I work at the lingerie store and saw you in here the other day. How are you thinking of even approaching that conversation? Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to ask you guys, because I didn't really know what the best way to handle it was. Oh, my gosh. I mean, if you want him to admit that you're cheating, I don't think he's going to open up to some stranger who claims to be a friend of his girlfriend's. Exactly. But I feel like I need to get him to admit it. Okay. Well, we'll play a song and then come back, give you a little bit of advice, and then you can make your Aqua Tuesday phone call, all right? Okay. Okay, hang on. Take a seat. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. I think I've figured it out. Oh, really? Coco is on the phone today to do an Awkward Tuesday phone call, and she wants to call 
her friend's boyfriend because she works at a lingerie shop and he came in there the other day, bought a bunch of lingerie that was clearly not her size and definitely not things that she would like. So she thinks that he might be buying it for another woman. Remember, this dude doesn't actually know her. They've never met. She just knows that it's her friend's boyfriend. And Coco, I think I figured out how you should have the conversation. Okay, what are you thinking? Well, because he's not going to just be open with you if you say, hey, what's his girlfriend's name, by the way? Katie. Katie. Hey, this is Katie's friend Coco. You don't know me, but I think you're cheating. He's probably not going to be honest with you then. (laughs) And he's probably not going to tell you that he's cheating if you call from the lingerie shop. I think the best way to do it is to pretend like you're calling from the lingerie shop, but to do like a customer satisfaction survey thing. Ooh, Okay. Have him answer a few questions or whatever. And then maybe be like, oh, so who was it for anyway? And maybe he'll give it the answer there. I like that idea. And then if it's all good, then you can hang up. And if it's not and he is cheating, then you can put him on blast right here in the Aqua Tuesday phone call. That'd be great. We'd, wow. we'd appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Coco, I didn't ask. How long has Katie been dating this guy? They've been dating for, I think, like three months. Okay, which is why you haven't met him. And, and is she going to be pissed at you for, like, interfering? No, I don't think so. Not if he's cheating, for sure. Well, thank you. I don't know. Sometimes people will still defend a cheater. Do you know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. come at you. But whatever. We'll worry about that bridge when we come to it. (laughs) Let's Let's concentrate on what we're doing now. (laughs) Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to dial his phone number and let you do your thing, okay? Okay. All right. Here we go. Hello? Hi. This is Coco from... May I speak to Stevie, please? This is Steve. Hi. You bought some lingerie from us last week. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Uh, what is this about? I was just calling to do a courtesy call to see how everything is working out for you. Uh, it's working out fine. Thanks for calling. Okay. Uh, so are you satisfied with your purchase? Uh, Yeah. Well, I mean, you aren't wearing it, but for whomever is wearing it. Um, if you don't mind me asking, who who are you buying them for? Is this for a girlfriend or a wife? Uh, no. Okay, so to be clear here, the laundry was not for a girlfriend or wife. Yeah, uh, no, no, it wasn't for that. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, if you don't mind my asking, who were you purchasing the lingerie for? Well, I'd rather not answer that question if that's okay. Well, are they for yourself? Are you serious? No. These questions are getting a little too personal now. Do you seriously ask that of all your customers? We just like to get a detailed account of the customers and who they are buying their gifts for. I mean, if it's not for your girlfriend or your wife, I mean, are you sure you're not cheating on your girlfriend, Stevie? Wait, what? Are you cheating on your girlfriend? Wait, so the girl from the lingerie store calling me for a customer survey is asking me if I'm cheating on my girlfriend? What the f*** is going on here? I'm Katie's friend, Steve. I work there, and I saw you there the other day, and I know that that was not for Katie. Who are you purchasing that for? I know it's not for Katie. What? I mean, listen, secret lady, Katie's friend. Why are you interrogating me? Because you're lying. That's no, why. You're, you're lying, lying. Steve. I never, I never said I was cheating on my girlfriend. Who are you to even okay, say that? Who is that for? Who is that lingerie for? Because I know it's not for Katie. That lingerie was way too big for Katie, and we both know that. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Who are the panties for? I bought them for a dude. Are you happy now? For my coworker Dave. Awkward. I'm definitely happy. Whoa. <laughs> hey, what's up, Stevie? How are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. What? <laughs> Who are you? Uh, this is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show. Mm-hmm. So the big lady is on the phone with the radio, and you guys are calling me? Yeah, pretty much. And I really want to know about Dave and why he needs lingerie. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't understand. What the hell is going on here? Steve, we do a segment on our show. It's called the Awkward Tuesday Phone Call. It's where if you have like a difficult conversation to have with someone, you can email us, and we'll give you some advice as long as you make that phone call on the show. And Coco called us because you bought some lingerie from her the other day. 
you guys have never actually met. She's a friend of your girlfriend's, and she recognized you, and she also recognized that that lingerie was definitely not for her friend and your girlfriend. And I guess we just found out who it's for. So wait, Dave's looking good. Are you having an affair with Dave? Is that That's what I'm getting out of this. No, I'm not having an affair with my coworker. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, then why are you buying lingerie for a dude? No, it's like embarrassing, though. You guys don't well, you don't understand. I, I I would understand. You know, sometimes me and my bros get together, put on lingerie, no. <laughs> eat some nachos, and watch the game. You hey, know, I you want to be comfortable. There's nothing wrong with that, Stevie. Oh, it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> then what is it? Yeah, it's fine if it is, Steve. We don't, there's no judgment in this room. A little bit. Oh, no, my God. No, there isn't. Where are we Yeah, I'll her? judge him. I got to hear it first. I may <laughs> judge you, Steve. I'm not sure. Why are you buying your coworker lingerie? All right, so... We have a, a work fantasy league. And, and that's your fantasy, fantasy to see Dave in lingerie? Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely against HR policy. <laughs> definitely not my fantasy, but our fantasy league, you know, he came in last. And the deal was whoever comes in last has to wear ladies' underwear for a week to work. Oh, oh my God. So he's been sporting that lingerie to work all week? <laughs> yeah, so that's why I was in the lingerie store, you know, buying the underwear, and I didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't know I was going to get called by a hundred people, and, you know, and get questioned and grilled about this thing. Oh man! How do I know that you're telling the truth? That you're not just like making up this story? Why would I make a story like that up? <laughs> Isn't you're the most genius liar ever, Stevie. I don't know. I don't know why you would make that up. I was just looking out for my friend. Do you not believe him still, Coco? It seems pretty plausible. Yeah. What do you guys think? Do you guys believe him? I, I, I personally don't believe him until I see the pictures. Uh, I don't know about the bet, but I do believe him that he bought him for a dude named Dave. And I think that that's fine. I don't think that he and Dave have a relationship. I mean, it's totally true. I mean, we have pictures of him for all week, you know, of him in different poses. And Please tell me there's one of him, like, bent over the copy machine or something in that purple lingerie. Yeah, it's the coffee machine. Oh, the coffee machine. Nice. Ooh. All right, that's sexy. I believe you. I mean, I could see I could see me doing something like that with my friends or something. I believe him, Coco. You see, I'm telling you the truth. Do you honestly think I'd be cheating on Katie? I don't know. I You better not cheat because apparently Katie's got eyes everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Or just don't go buy stuff at her lingerie store again if you are. So I guess I'm sorry. <laughs> do you feel bad now? I do. Steve, I'm sorry I accused you of cheating. I just, I am, was looking out for my friend. When you came in, you were being real shifty and shady, and I, I'm just following through. Yeah, I, I mean, I get that, but I wish you would have just called me and not get, like, the radio involved and everybody else that's listening to this. <laughs> Steve, how about I can give you a 40% discount off of your next purchase? And... <laughs> I also think that you need some help choosing lingerie because those were horrific choices. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got a personal shopper out of the deal, Stevie. There you go. It worked out for Dave, so. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you can actually use your discount to buy your girlfriend some lingerie. There you go. We have this going out for a while now, so we'll definitely need more. Okay, so never mind. No, no lingerie for your girlfriend. Just do lingerie all day for you. All right. <laughs> Well, Coco, I'm glad that your friend isn't being cheated on. And, Steve, I'm glad you're not cheating on your girlfriend. Yes. Great, thanks. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and I would like to see those pictures, though, still. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to see this one of, you know, we put him in the shower one time. It's kind of hot. Ooh. All right, we'll send it along. Broken Jubal in the morning. The people who listen to this show have trust issues. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. <laughs> talking about today's Awkward Tuesday phone call. Everybody's texting in at 78592. And they think the dude is still lying. A lot of people think that he bought that lingerie for himself. If you missed it, yeah. this girl Coco wanted to call a dude named Stevie. He is actually her friend's boyfriend, and she works at a lingerie shop. And he came in there the other day, and he bought some lingerie that was clearly not for his girlfriend. Stevie and Coco have never actually met. But anyway, she wanted to do an Awkward Tuesday phone call to ask him if he, he was cheating on her friend. He said no, that he bought that lingerie for his buddy because as part of their fantasy team, their fantasy league, mm -hmm. if you lose, you have to, to wear lingerie and they have to take all kinds of pictures of you and stuff. I believe him, but most people texting in right now, 78592, don't believe him one bit. Yeah. I think either way, everyone has decided that the girl at the lingerie shop is probably going to lose her job. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's a big kind thing. kind of an invasion of privacy. <laughs> Remember, if you want to do an Awkward Tuesday phone Phone call, email us. We'll help you with your issue as long as you make a very awkward phone call in exchange. Move at 92.5.